Hi guys, um, my name is Miss Smith and I'm going to be one of your um, new TLAs. I'm very, very excited about this and very much looking forward to meeting you all and getting to know you. Hi guys, I'm going to read to you today one of my favourite books. It's called Can't You Sleep, Little Bear? So I'll read it like this and then I'll turn it round and you guys can see the lovely pictures, okay? Hope this works. Here we go. Once there were two bears, Big Bear and Little Bear. Big Bear is the Big Bear and Little Bear is the Little Bear. They played all day in the bright sunlight. When night came and the sun went down, Big Bear took Little Bear home to the bear cave. See? They're out there in the woods. There's Big Bear and Little Bear and they're about to go to their cave. All right. Big Bear put Little Bear to bed in the dark part of the cave. Go to sleep, Little Bear he said. And Little Bear tried. Big Bear settled in the bear chair and read his bear book by the light of the fire. But Little Bear couldn't get to sleep. Look, there's Big Bear in his big chair and there's Little Bear in his bed not being able to get to sleep. Poor Little Bear. Can't you sleep, Little Bear? asked Big Bear, putting down his bear book, which was just getting to the interesting part and padding over to the bed. I'm scared, said Little Bear. Why are you scared, Little Bear? asked Big Bear. I don't like the dark, said Little Bear. What dark, said Big Bear. The dark all around us, said Little Bear. Is it about talking to Big Bear? A bit scared. And look, that's Big Bear's book. He was just getting to the interesting bit. Big Bear looked and he saw that the dark part of the cave was very dark. So he went to the lantern cupboard and took out the tiniest lantern that was there. Big Bear lit the tiniest lantern and put it to, near to Little Bear's bed. There's a tiny light to stop you being scared, Little Bear, said Big Bear. Thank you, Big Bear, said Little Bear, cuddling up in the glow. Now go to sleep, Little Bear, said Big Bear, and he padded back to the bear chair and settled down to read the bear book by the light of the fire. Look, there we go. Big Bear's given the tiniest little lantern to Little Bear to make him feel better and not so scared of the dark, which is a bit scary sometimes. Little Bear tried to go to sleep, but he couldn't. Can't you sleep, Little Bear? <coughs> yawned Big Bear, putting down his bear book with just four pages to go to the interesting bit and padding over to the bed. I'm scared said Little Bear. Why are you scared, Little Bear? asked Big Bear. I don't like the dark, said Little Bear. What dark? asked Big Bear. The dark all around us, said Little Bear. But I brought you a lantern, said Big Bear. Only a tiny weeny one, said Little Bear, and there's lots of dark. Big Bear looked and he saw that Little Bear was quite right. There was still lots of dark. So Big Bear went to the lantern cupboard and took out a bigger lantern. Big Bear lit the lantern and put it beside the other one. Here we go. Can you see? Big Bear's got the slightly bigger lantern now. Do you think this might help Little Bear? I hope so. We shall see. Now go to sleep, Little Bear, said Big Bear, and he padded back to the bear chair and settled down to read the bear book by the light of the fire. Little Bear tried and tried to go to sleep, but he couldn't. Can't you sleep, Little Bear, 
grunted Big Bear, putting down his bear book, with just three pages to go, and padding over to the bed. I'm scared, said Little Bear. Why are you scared, Little Bear? asked Big Bear. I don't like the dark, said Little Bear. What dark? asked Big Bear. The dark all around us, said Little Bear. But I bought you two lanterns, said Big Bear. A tiny one and a bigger one. Not much bigger, said Little Bear. And there's still lots of dark. Okay. So there's Big Bear sitting in his bear chair, reading his book by the fire. Can you see the fire in the back? There's Little Bear. Do you think Little Bear's trying very hard to go to sleep? I'm not so sure. Uh, there's Little Bear, saying that he's still scared of the dark to Big Bear. I wonder what Big Bear's going to do next. Oh my goodness. Big Bear thought about it and then he went to the lantern cub out and took out the biggest lantern of them all with two handles and a bit of chain. He hooked the lantern up above Little Bear's bed. I've brought you the biggest lantern of them all, he told Little Bear. That's to stop you being scared. Thank you, Big Bear, said Little Bear, curling up in the glow and watching the shadows dance. Now go to sleep, Little Bear, said Big Bear, and he padded back to the bed.